Hello everyone, welcome to Addy's Hat Gaming Time. Today we've got some news for you, and yeah, here's the intro. First, Spider-Man for the PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 4 Pro is now out uh, for some of the other countries. The UK um, will actually should be out by now. Um, and hopefully your um, pre-order bonus code and everything else is uh, working. Have I pre-ordered the game? Yes, and it should be coming within the 8th to the 10th of September. So expect gameplay videos, but I don't know if I'll stockpile or not, I might do something different, but yeah. Okay, so I will leave a video down below talking more details about this, but I don't want to go over it um, that much. But Star Wars Battlefront 2 will had a community transmission, um, I believe it was on Wednesday, it was about the squad system. Now, the squad system will be the new squad system that it looks like they're taking features from Battlefront. Uh, 2015 and maybe even Battlefield uh, 5. Um, now what they say is that basically you will be able to do kind of what you did in Battlefront 2015 and also in Hero Showdown if it's kind of like a, I think it's if it's less than the numbers that it's supposed to be then it's gonna enable private matches um, you'll also be able to team up in squads, but if you're not um, being with, like, if you're squaring up with a stranger like most of us do, then the voice chat will be turned off, which I think for consoles, uh, voice chat, uh, that doesn't really exist unless if you do something about it, which, to be honest, I feel like that's a good thing. People like Slylo has also complained about it, saying that, uh, you can just uh, just turn it off. Well, unfortunately, you have 16-year-olds and 17-year-olds here, and if you have a stranger talking to, which will seem to be a minor, then that can cause up some issues pending what's happening there. So I feel like that's the right move. And personally, I don't want to talk to strangers. Seems to me sly like you do. But not just that. But um, there might be some new hero health cards coming in the future as of changing some as of the maybe or maybe not a community transmission about that and then also Ben has uh, has is has gone to Montreal they're the people who uh, made the Battlefront 2 campaign and I'm guessing Resurrection also um, people are saying has it got to do with Star Wars Ben has said yes it's got to do with Star Wars but I don't think it has nothing to do with Battlefront 2 so yeah, there are more CTs coming within uh, this month. This is not the only one. Um, so yeah, am I excited for the new content, uh, new skins? It'll be a nice addition to it. I think I don't know. It'll be a nice addition, like a game improvement. Uh, like the squad system will be applied to uh, Galactic Assault and Strike, Strike for testing. But I don't know, it'll be good. Uh, to be honest, I'm more excited about October than anything else because we're getting a new hero of them. So, yeah. By the time of the, this recording, it will be the second day for the public open beta of Battlefield 5. Now, I pre ordered the game, I had some issues with it uh, downloading it on the 3rd of September. I couldn't really get it to work, but then eventually, boom, I did. It was hidden files and stuff. It was such a nightmare. But anyway, so the beta is open until the 11th of September, I just thought I should let you know. And this is the multiplayer beta this is. So unless, if you don't like, go online and do stuff, then you may not be able to access it. I'm not too sure with betas, you still have to pay for stuff. I never really tested out when I got the Battlefront 2 beta because at that time I uh, didn't have um, Xbox Live but anyway. Have I tried it? Yes, I have. Now there we are with you video. I'm not too sure if I'll try again. But uh, a gameplay video will be going up soon it may be out now I don't know but what do I think of the beta well one uh, more realistically uh, you have to be quite fast and knowledgeable like even if you try and be fast like 
compared to Battlefront 2 where they give you some time when you're getting shot, you get a couple of hits in Battlefield 5 and then you're dead. You are, so it's fast paced it is. And when I get the game, I feel like it'll be where unlikely that I will be going online and going on multiplayer. Because mainly I buy this for the campaign and considering that they're going to be releasing multiple stuff, I'm like, hmm, seems quite nice. So yeah, that's my thoughts on that. But DC Super Villains will be a game that I'll get, but it'll be a game that I'll be pre-ordering at the last minute. Now, this game will have a season pass. <gasps> I have to pay extra money. Uh... Well, guess what? Stop moaning because usually the LEGO season passes, when they do this type of stuff, is really good and the content is actually worth buying for. Um, so, with the season pass, it includes six level packs and four character packs. Now, this um, season pass will be promoting the film Aquaman when it comes out this December, but, and then it'll also be promoting to Sham. To, just them when it comes out in 2019. I forgot to release date. Um, now, it'll also be promoting the Batman animated series and also Young Justice, which will be a nice addition, it will be. So, I'm assuming that Supergirl is supposed to be that. That's quite a shame because we've got a big event coming up in the CW um, within this December. So, it'd be a shame that it's a shame that they're not promoting that also but it's fine they did it last time so I guess they don't have to do it this time but will I be buying the game? yeah I love and hate Lego games at the same time finally more DC news Batman Return to Arkham hasn't had any news or anything out within this year they released the P I think it was the PC ports for uh, Batman uh, Arkham VR last year but then this year, well, we've had nothing until now. Xbox One X will receive an X hand update to improve the graphics for Batman Return to Arkham Asylum and also City. But unfortunately, this is only for if you've got an Xbox One X. I don't know if it's for the regular Xbox Ones, but yeah, Rock City, we are missing you. Um, I do miss those days, I do. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. This is now the end of the episode, and I will see you all on the next one. And if this comes out on Friday, well, I guess, have a good weekend. Bye-bye.